And guys, a quick word from our sponsor. If you're like me and hate watching TV, then this is for you. www.tvdb.cc is a simple service for streaming free TV shows online. It works on Android, iOS and PC. www.tvdb.cc provides you with more than 1000 HD TV shows with no ads. TVDB has daily updates for all your favorite TV series every day. Make sure to check them out. I really got into watching the Viking series back in the day and guess what? They've got it also. I don't expect most people to have heard the word misandry. The spell checker won't recognize it. The word misogyny, on the other hand, is very well known. Misandry does exist, however, and is there to be seen in media output, in the workplace, in education, in fact, in most areas of life in the Western world. Misandry tells us that men do very bad things, and they do them all the time. They rape women, they molest children, they beat their wives, they sexually harass their colleagues, they're deadbeat dads, they start wars, they can't communicate, they're controlling, they smell, they're hairy and they don't wash. So who are these men that the media keeps informing me about? I heard they kidnap little children and drink their blood from little plastic cups that they make themselves from detergent bottles. Real live men are nothing like the depiction routinely broadcast on our televisions day after day. I mean let's be clear here, when I'm at the cash point I'm looking over my shoulder for men, not women. But the fact remains that the bad that men do pales in comparison with the greatness of men. When you look at the role of men at all levels of society, from leaders to street cleaners, men are fantastic examples of humanity. In my opinion, misandry exists as a direct product of feminism. The hatred of men serves a purpose for government, charities and large-scale businesses. The endless prevalence of anti-male propaganda serves a dual purpose. It's done primarily to turn women against men. But it's also about turning men against themselves and getting men to think the worst of themselves. It's about creating guilt. Feminism is responsible for poisoning our view of men to the extent that men have become, or can only be described, as a disposable sex. The attack on men is carried out at many levels of society and across many different issues. Specifically, men are targeted in the realms of domestic violence, child abuse, fatherlessness, equality, health, and education. The Stephen Lawrence inquiry described institutional racism in the police force. However, no inquiry has ever been undertaken into the institutional misandry throughout our society. If such a study was ever to be undertaken, the extent, the depth, and the ferocity of male hatred in our institutions would become clear. However, most men I've met are unaware of the true extent of misandry, the extent of hatred against men in Western society. It's enormous, and it's perpetrated against men from the time of their birth right up to death, which comes for men far earlier than it should. Misandry is such a normal and ordinary part of life that it's very difficult to actually know it's happening, until you try asking yourself a few questions. Why do 80 men kill themselves every week? Why are over 90% of the homeless men? Why do men die six years earlier than women? Why have you never seen a female refuse collector? Why is there a breast cancer awareness month in the UK? Why have you never seen a news headline about the rape of a man? Could men become illegal? Misandry is way too big to appreciate until we take a step back. The first thing to understand is that in our society, men don't actually exist. Men simply do not exist as a group, except where they do something bad. A man from Armagh has been given a life sentence. A man's been found guilty at the Old Bailey of... The man charged with the brutal murder of... A man's been charged with murdering... The same man could be responsible for two double murders. Five to six men would rape us for hours. All the suspects are male. The man convicted of killing the former... The man accused of raping and murdering... This tragedy is man-made. Police across the country are hunting this man. There are con men and gun men and there are manhunts. The gunmen were branded as terrorists. One gunman and two accomplices. But when men do good things or brave things, as they overwhelmingly do day in, day out, or when men are the victims of tragedies, then suddenly the word men disappears into some kind of unmentionable abyss. A Canadian submarine with 57 on board drifts in heavy seas. Running in RAF assets. 
Just tell us about the number of people on board. There's uh, 57 crew. There was nine uh, personnel who uh, reported smoke inhalation. Uh, two of concern, but none of them require a medevac from the submarine. To reach 13 coal miners who were trapped after an explosion in West Virginia. We believe the uh, individuals might be located. People die on roadworks simply because they're trying to mend our roads and make them better for us. People were desperate to feed themselves and their families. The workforce were ruthlessly exploited. 112 of them died. The lives of future passengers depend on the steady hands of these craftspeople and engineers. Two firefighters have died after a blaze in East London. The pair were on the top floor of the building. Four RAF crew are feared dead. None of the crew members have been found. Five soldiers were killed. Four bodies have been found near. Contact with the crew was lost. Five members of the regiment were killed. Three US soldiers died there today, but nine others have been killed. The soldier was airlifted to Baghdad for treatment. When Iraqi fighting men are killed, they're insurgents. They say they've killed hundreds of the insurgents in fighting like this. When they kidnap a woman, they're men. Mrs. Hassan was kidnapped by armed men who stopped her car. The deaths of men are deliberately suppressed behind their job titles and gender-neutral labels. Men are reduced from human beings to human doings. Women, however, certainly do exist especially when something bad happened. Indeed, tragedies are somehow more tragic when women are affected. Three students and a female officer among the dead. Many of those who died were passers-by, including seven women. Hundreds of thousands, mostly women and children, are living in camps with little food and clean water. Hospital officials said women and children are among the dead. BBC has evidence of police attacking women and children. An entire trench was filled with women and children. Mostly women and children. At the roadside, we saw women and children. They're being forced to flee. While the women are forced to flee, the men are forced to die. But we hear nothing about that. It's just as accurate to lump men and children together. Why are the deaths of men rubbed out of the public's consciousness? How do you feel when someone is looking over your shoulder? <clears throat> Not all snoopers can be seen. Cyber criminals can steal your sensitive information. Hackers can intercept your data on public Wi-Fi. But not with the NordVPN app. It helps protect your privacy by encrypting your online data. And it's so easy to use. NordVPN, your shield from online snoopers. Download and enjoy trusted internet security and privacy. Take us out, kitty. I got money in the bank. Shot it with your thing. Yeah.